Good morning. It's August 27th, 2013. And this is a video response to Dean Zook, who quite a while ago, he posted a modification he made on an Eco 60 gasification boiler. I have an Eco Model 25 boiler. It's a quite a bit smaller than what he has. But I thought it, what he did was a good idea, and I had thought about something similar, and what he did was kind of clever. So this is the boiler, and I have the front cover removed. There's the cover and the fan, and I'll show you this uh, assembled here in just a little bit. Just a quick overview of what's going on in here. These are the primary air gates which from the factory they, they're just held in place with a, a nut and a washer and you make a, a, an adjustment and then you lock it down with the, the nut and there's one on either side. These here are the secondary air tubes and that blows air into the nozzle, the ceramic nozzle inside the combustion chamber. That to make the, any adjustment to this, you had to shut the stove down, remove a cover, pull this inner fan off, make an adjustment, put it back together, and then see if it ran the way you wanted to. And it just just didn't make sense to, to have it set up that way. I, I welded on a bracket to the uh, air gate valve, and I drilled through the, this uh, angle and the sidebar and I drilled and tapped that. It's a quarter twenty tap and what that allows me to do uh, as you can see here as I turn that threaded rod it changes the amount of air that's allowed to go into the uh, primary side of the combustion chamber. And to keep track of what I'm doing here I've mounted a little uh, gradient on the side of the stove right here and I can each each mark is an eighth of an inch so I can do really fine adjustments and and keep track of what I'm doing and it's not going to move once I set it it's, it's not going to move. I did put a little spring on top of the the washer just to hold it in place I use a little Loctite to uh, make sure that nut doesn't back off but we're going to give this a go and uh, I think I'm going to like it being able to change the amount of air on the fly without having to shut the stove down. Here's a view with the uh, blower cover installed and here are the screws for the secondary air adjustment. There's one there and there's another one there and these come from the factory so you can change that adjustment but the primary air you'd have to every time you had to remove this cover and shut the stove down which is a pain. So there's the screws for the primary air, one on either side and then there's your secondary air adjustment. Should be a lot easier. And there's the uh, shroud installed and it's all back together. One last look at the adjustment screws. I guess if I was really clever I'd bring those secondary screws on the outside also. Then we didn't have to remove this cover. But it's no big deal to remove this. You just pull it off and just a couple clips hold it in place. But that's it.